basic math to solve for vectors. Since vectors have magnitude, which is how big something is, the amount, and direction, we must always account for direction. Unless the vectors are parallel or perpendicular to each other, any vector that is at an angle we must resolve into components, x component and y component using trig functions. If we have a right triangle, opposite the right triangle is the hypotenuse h. Theta represents angle. X, if you notice, is next to the theta. So X is adjacent to, which means next to. Y is opposite theta. So Y is opposite. The basic trig functions are cosine theta, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, which can be rewritten as cosine theta x over h because x is next to the theta. If I take my cosine theta, which is x over h, I could solve for h by multiplying each side by h. So the h's on the right side cancel out, so x becomes h cosine theta. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Since y is opposite the theta, sine theta is equal to y over h. And I can solve for y by multiplying each side by h. And the h's will cancel out on the right, so y is equal to h cosine theta. Tangent theta is defined as opposite over adjacent. So if I rewrite this equation, tangent theta is equal to y, which is opposite the theta, over adjacent, which is x. In general, you will use tangent theta to find the angle of the resultant vector. So tangent theta is equal to y over x. To get theta, I need to do the opposite, which is inverse tan. So when I do an inverse tan, theta becomes tangent negative 1 y over x. So on your calculator, inverse tan would be second tan. And you punch in y over x, whatever your numbers for y and whatever your numbers for x. Thus, to solve for vectors, you will need to note the rearranged versions of cosine, sine, and tangent. Sometimes the data could be in the top right corner. Since data is at the top right corner, y is now adjacent because it's next to. Since y is adjacent, it's going to be cosine theta which is y over hypotenuse. So y becomes h times cosine theta. And x becomes opposite. So this becomes sine theta, which is x over hypotenuse. So x is equal to h sine theta. So please note where theta is respect to your x and y. If you don't, your angles will be flipped. The other way you could do this if you do not want to use the theta on top. Since this is a right triangle, this angle here and this angle here must equal to 90 degrees. So you could always subtract 90 minus theta and that will give you the angle down here at the corner. And when you have the angle alpha, and you use alpha, then x will be next to, so that will be adjacent, and you could use cosine. And then y will be opposite, and you could use sine. So this equation will now become 
x equals to h cosine alpha, not theta, but alpha, and then y will become h sine alpha. So pause the video, find h and theta. h is hypotenuse, theta is the angle, and check your answer. In this problem, there's multiple ways to get the right answer. I am going to solve for the angle first, theta. To solve for the angle, since I have my opposite and adjacent, I'm going to use tangent theta. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. Opposite the angle is 10. Next to is 23. So tangent theta becomes 10 meters divided by 23 meters. Since I have to take the inverse of the tan, this is going to be tan negative 1, 10 meters divided by 23 meters. And so the way you want to punch this into your calculator is you're going to do second, you're going to punch in tan, and then you're going to punch in 10 meters divided by 23 meters. And if you do your math correctly, you should get approximately 23 degrees. Now I could find a hypotenuse. There's multiple ways you could find a hypotenuse. I could use cosine, sine, or I could even use Pythagorean theorem because this is a right triangle. So if I use Pythagorean theorem, we know h squared equals to x squared plus y squared because x, y. So if I plug this in, h squared is going to equal to 23 meters squared plus 10 meters squared. After I do that, I need to take the square root. So if you punch this into your calculator correctly, you should get approximately 25 meters. We can also solve for the hypotenuse using cosine or sine. We know that cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So to solve for hypotenuse, I need to multiply each side by h. And then h cosine theta equals adjacent. Divide both sides by cosine to get h alone. So h becomes adjacent over cosine theta or we note that adjacent was 23 meters, divided by cosine, the angle was 23. And if we punch this into the calculator, we get approximately 24.986 meters, which is close to 25. You could repeat this procedure um, using sine theta. You could also find the angles using cosine or sine. But typically, when we do direction for vectors, we use tangent theta. Pause the video, solve for the missing variables, and check your answers. So on this problem, you could use Pythagorean theorem to find x, or you could use the trick functions. I'm going to solve for theta first. Since theta is given down here, 5 is opposite. So we know that we need to use sine theta to find my angle. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Hi opposite is 5 meters. The hypotenuse, which is opposite the right triangle here, is 45 meters. So I need to do the inverse sine. So theta becomes sine to the negative first, 5 meters divided by 45 meters. So if you punch this into the calculator, it is second sine and 5 divided by 45. If you punch this into the calculator correctly, you should get an angle of 6.379 degrees. So now I'm going to solve for x, but I'm going to use cosine. 
rather than Pythagorean theorem. You can still use Pythagorean theorem and you will get the correct answer. Since x is next to, I know this is cosine theta, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. And I told you when it's rearranged, it becomes x hypotenuse cosine theta. So hypotenuse here is 45 meters. Cosine, the angle we just saw was 6.379 degrees. And if we calculate this in the calculator, it becomes 44.72 meters. And if you do the Pythagorean theorem, you will get close to 44.72 meters. Pause the video, find the unknowns, and check your answer. In this problem, theta is given as 65. Opposite the theta is 9 meters. So I know this is my opposite. So the formula with opposite trig function is sine theta. So the first thing I need to do is use sine theta to find a hypotenuse because it's opposite over hypotenuse. So to solve for hypotenuse, I'm going to multiply by hypotenuse on each side. Then hypotenuse sine theta equals opposite, and I'm going to divide both sides by sine theta. So hypotenuse becomes opposite sine theta. Opposite, we stated, was 9 meters. The angle was given as 65, so this is sine 65. If I punch this into the calculator correctly, I get approximately 9.93 meters. So this is our H. Now I could solve for X using cosine theta. You could also use Pythagorean theorem, but we're trying to practice the trick functions, so please use the trick functions. Since X is next to the angle, we know that's going to be cosine theta, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. I already arranged, rearranged this for you in the previous videos. So we know x is going to equal to a hypotenuse cosine theta. Hypotenuse, we calculated as 9.93 meters, cosine 65 degrees. If you calculated this correctly, you should get approximately 4.20 meters for x. Pause the video, solve for the unknowns, and check your answers. So in this problem, my theta is 15 degrees. Since 15 degree is next to y, this is adjacent. Adjacent means I need to use cosine theta. So I'm going to solve for y first using cosine theta. Remember, cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And to solve for adjacent, we know that this is going to be y over h. So y is going to equal to h cosine theta. h was given as 13 meters, which is the hypotenuse cosine 15 and if you punch in to the calculate correctly you should get 12.56 meters since x is opposite the angle here opposite we know I have to use sine theta so sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse which is x over h so x is equal to h sine theta, so that's 13 meters, sine 15 degrees, which is approximately 3.36 meters. If you do not want to make y cosine and h sine, we could solve for this bottom angle. Remember, since this is a right triangle, the rest of the angles need to add up to 90 degrees. So 90 minus 15 degrees will give you 75 degrees, which is the angle down here. And then if you use 75 degrees, x now becomes 
we know that in a right triangle, the two angles add up to 90 degrees. So I could find the bottom angle by doing 90 minus 15 to get 75 degrees. So now the bottom angle is 75 degrees. Now x becomes adjacent to, so I could use cosine theta, and then y will become opposite, and I could use sine theta. So x will become now 13 meters cosine 75 degrees. And these will have the same answer. And then your y will be y 13 meters sine 75 degrees. Complementary angles. Pythagorean theorem, this is a review for right triangles. For right triangles, we could use Pythagorean theorem. If this is a right triangle, opposite the right triangle is the hypotenuse C. Next to is A and opposite is B. The general format for Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if I have this following problem, we want to find the hypotenuse and theta using Pythagorean theorem. So we know this is opposite, so this is my hypotenuse H. So H squared is going to equal to A squared plus B squared, or we could label this X and Y. And if I say this is A and this is B, H squared equals to 7 meters squared plus 10 meters squared. Take the square root. And so H becomes 12.206 meters. You could also use sine and cosine to solve for H. The angle, we want to use tangent theta, which is opposite over adjacent. So tangent theta becomes opposite, which is 10, opposite the theta, 7, which is next to adjacent. So if I punch this in, theta is equal to tan, negative 1, 10 divided by 7 meters. So theta equals approximately 55 degrees. You could also use cosine and sine. But because 10 and 7 are given, it's better to use tangent theta, just in case you make a mistake calculating for each.